Hi guys, welcome to another Urban Viking Hour review. Um, well, it's not going to be an hour review today. It's going to be a cider. Um, so, I had a, a long old day at work. Um, I just want something nice and crisp. Um, I'm not going to be sessioning any beer tonight, so I just want just one drink and something that's going to quench my thirst. So, anyway, I popped into the local shop and um, I've always seen this cider in there. But I just never got it because it looks a bit. I don't know. I don't. It, it just doesn't. It looks a bit. Look more like a bottle of wine than a bottle of cider. And I suppose that puts me off a bit because I don't want it to be too bitter and and dry. But I'm starting to get into the vintages now, so maybe I will like it. But the reason I brought it was because it was in the uh, the bargain section, <laughs> and it was a quid. Look at this. That was a quid. Aspol. Premier Crew. Cider. Look at that bottle. Look how lovely that bottle looks though. Hey. Eh? It doesn't usually cost a quid. I think it's about £2.19 or £2.20, but let's give you some info on this. Um, Aspol Premier Crew is 7%. A full apple flavour cider that captures the essence of an orchard. Light on the tongue with a clean, crisp, refreshing apple taste that makes it the premier crew of ciders. Um, they spell cider C Y D E R S on this. Um, ideal with food or simply as a refreshing drink on its own. Multi award winners for quality and taste since 1728. Um, sugars are added to aid fermentation. Uh, these are. Uh, they've got a website, sorry, it's www.aspal.co.uk, based in Suffolk. Uh, founded by Clement Chevalier, established 1728, produced in Aspal, which is in Suffolk, England. There you go. Now then, for a quid, you know, even if it tastes crap, I'm not going to be that bothered. Oh, that's nice, I like that little Chevalier on the, uh, on the cap. Lovely, really nice little cap. Right, I, you know, it's lovely and cold. I don't know if you can see the old glistening on the bottle. Probably not, but. Right, let's get it poured. Right, let's pour about that much in because I want to get a bit of a nose. It's, a, it's only a 500ml bottle, it's a big old thing, but, you know. Right. Lovely, lovely, clear, golden colour. Not too much um, carbonation. Let's give it a sniff. Wow, that's really um, astringent. It's like a... It's like a really strong white wine or something like that. You're getting the apples. A uh, very um, crunchy, dry, crispy... Um, Bramley's or something like that, you know that sort of uh, green green apple, uh, quite bitter. Really nice smells. Right, I'm not good with um, cider descriptions because you know there's not really that much to give you. I mean I, I can't really tell you what sort of apples they are or, you know, anything other than that. I'm not going to pull out essences of elderflower and all that sort of thing because it's not, it's, it's apples. But I know there's guys out there who are really who are proper experts in this and they can tell you a lot more. So, but anyway, I'm looking forward to this and I'm thirsty. So, cheers. Mm, that's nice. Mmm, that is really nice. Um, it's very crisp and uh, it's like a medium crisp sweetness at the beginning. Very refreshing and then you get an, um, almost like a, an oaky dryness uh, which sort of builds up on the finish. Um, and it lingers, it really does linger. It's, it's, um, it's there now. Really nice. Um, this is really, really, really refreshing. I really like this. It 
tastes a lot like the um, the Henry Weston's vintage. Uh, not not too much difference between the two. Um, if anything, I'd say this one was slightly drier, which is a good thing for a cider, I think, because it makes you want to drink more, which is good and good and a bad thing, I suppose. <laughs> but you know, it just makes you want to go back. But it really does quench your first. Instantly quenches you first. Really nice. Um, let's get a bit more in there. Lovely. It's really nice, really good. Aspel dry. Usually about two pounds on your bottle. I'd happily pay that because it's a lovely, lovely cider, um, and it comes in a lovely bottle. <clears throat> so, lovely cider review. Um, not very in depth, but it's a cracking cider. Lovely. Doesn't beat the Hennies, but it's pretty close. Eight out of ten. Thank you very much. Cheers!